welcome back to part two people and in this part uh, I'll recreate the whole project from the very beginning but just to keep things snappy at most times I'll be copying and pasting uh, the markup the code okay so we can go a little fast you know after having made almost 500 tu tutorials I don't need to prove myself that I can actually code out that I can actually mark up the document cool so let's start uh, let's select everything that is inside the document say control A and hit the delete button people I'm using Dreamweaver 6 uh, you know this is gonna be uh, the HTML CSS editor today okay cool uh, HTML colon 5 hit control plus comma to expand the code now I'm using Zen coding or code assist plugin okay in the title uh, I can say something like um, mm, menu bar responsive with a slider B behavior or whatever right okay immediately after this uh, you know the uh, the title tag I'll insert a meta a meta tag now this is uh, necessary but in fact what I can do is I should ideally be clubbing the metas together out here meta after the meta okay this is uh, necessary when you scale up or down the document this allows you to scale down uh, or up properly cool okay now <coughs> let's first tackle the opening and the closing body tag so let's first talk about the HTML right uh, people I'm gonna start off with an input uh, you know a checkbox so let me bring in some code and let me insert it out here in the inside the body tags okay let's focus on the code so input type is equal to checkbox it has an ID this could have been a different ID too it has a label and um, the label deliberately is ampersand hash nine seven seven six that will pop up a symbol we'll soon see what I mean by that let's save the document up okay let's bring the browser up and let's reload to see what exactly have I created now this is the checkbox that I was talking about and this is the icon that's a result of this character combination cool okay now people uh, since I'm using HTML5 I'm allowed to use the header tags so out here in line number 12 let me insert the header tag so we have the opening tag out here the closing tag out here uh, the opening h2 tag out here which closes out here it has a class of spacer that this class as we'll see a little later is gonna add some padding all around of 10 px this is some text so let's see the changes that have been created so far so let's reload and very expectedly we see some text out here which is uh, the header too okay next people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a division with a class of rule after the header tag div with a class of rule the closing div tag out here now this is gonna act like an HR simply because the way uh, this class rule has been created so let's save let's bring up the browser let's refresh re let's reload nothing at all simply because we haven't created the rule uh, rule okay so what I'm gonna do is after the title tags I'm gonna say style and control comma okay expanding the code using Zen coding uh, plugin let's save the document up and let's bring in the rule rule all right so I'm gonna insert the rule rule out here this way 
Okay. Now notice what this specific class dot rule says. Background color, linear gradient, add 90 degrees, olive, teal and sky blue. This is gonna give me a a rule, a horizontal rule of the height 3px and extending the width from left to right. Let's see that. So let's save. Let's bring the browser up. Let's refresh. And you see a multicolored line, olive, teal and sky blue in the horizontal direction because I gave it a, a 90 degrees angle. Okay, So this is the way I actually created uh, this rule. Uh, this, this division acts like a horizontal rule. Cool. <coughs> now people I'm gonna get in two more uh, rules in. Okay, and they should go in out here. The first rule you may be familiar with a lot. It's a, it's a reset rule. Adding zero, margin zero. We use that quite a lot, you know, to reset margins and paddings for all different elements, which can default to sometimes five, to sometimes ten, two. Okay, I'm for the body, the entire body of the document. I'm using font family. This, 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 and this. Right. So you, it's just uh, you know a font. So the, these are fallbacks, people. So you don't have this. These, you know, these are the different fallbacks. Now this is the class spacer, which gives you a padding 10 px all along, all around the the element on all the four sides. Okay, you notice the H2 has a class of spacer, so this is gonna get some padding all around. You see that? Save. Bring the browser up. Let's refresh. Righto. And you see the uh, you know the margins and the paddings have been reset. For the checkbox and it sticks itself you know it uh, pushes itself and tucks itself in the top left corner okay so this is what uh, we have created so far <coughs> okay let's now uh, leave the opening and the closing style tags for a minute let's get back to the HTML of the uh, of a document people okay now uh, I'm gonna uh, insert one more HTML5 element that's the nav element and right here after this division <coughs> sorry you see nav opening out here closing out here which has a ul opening and closing out here which have allies all along cool Let's save the document up right mm, nav with the class of menu uh, we'll define the menu in a in a while. Okay, so the different ally items are basically uh, anchor tags with href attributes pointing to nowhere. We don't have the links ready yet, and uh, they say item one, two, three, four, and five. So just some dummy uh, text fillers, and the hrefs are actually not taking you anywhere because we st still don't have them ready. We don't want to for the sake of the tutorial. The understanding is what you actually need to have. So at this point, if I were to save the document up, if I were to bring the browser up, and if I were to reload, you see the items uh, act out this way. They are over each other, one under the other, this way. And that's exactly how Ella items always behave. You know, they are never adjacent, but um, they, they act like block level elements. Very, very cool. Okay, at this point, people, um, Let's bring in uh, some more rules for the opening and the closing style tags. And let's say after the last rule that we had created or the last class we had created, let's push in a rule for the header with 100% height 50 Z index 99. That controls the stack order. Let's save the document up and let's bring the browser up. Let's refresh. Okay, hardly any change people. At this point, I'm gonna uh, terminate this part so that I can see you in the next part. Do join me there. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.